Alrighty then, beautiful Brigadine fans, welcome back to your final guide for monster equipment gear here in Brigandine, the Legend of Renarzia. There's nothing else to cover as far as defensive gear is concerned. I think I've covered everything. If there's an update, I'll go over that again, but otherwise, let's get into it. This is Brigandine, the Legend of Renarzia. If I didn't already say that, which I, I think I just did, but either way, <laughs> smash the like or subscribe for more. This will help the channel grow. Uh, there is definitely more uh, guide videos I have coming forward in the future here. We'll probably cover some strategic stuff, but this is going to cover rings. This is the very last thing you can equip on a monster here, and all these rings are just for monsters because it has a little M next to the ring. And uh, if you're new to the game, Burgundine, especially this new game here, there are white lettering gear here, there is purple lettering gear, and there's gold lettering gear at the top. All that means is that one is more rare than the other and also a lot stronger in a lot of different ways. So that's essentially what that means. And so let's cover the very, very basic one here, Psychic Collar. So this gives us uh, experience gained plus 10%. So this can actually help you level up a lot faster if you really are in the mood to level up quicker. This will help out with that. Okay. Next one up is the pairing, co pairing Collar. Right there, shield block rate of 3% and counter damage of 3%. So this really only applies, this shield block only applies to lizard men. So this is like a very basic lizard man, lizard guard uh, ring here. This could help you out with those things there. Shield block rate does not work with any other monster other than the lizard men, I do believe. Okay. And if you want to see all the stats on the right go up and down, you can just look to the right and you'll see those basic stats go up. Okay, Magic Collar, MP plus five. So we get a little more MP if we put that on there. All right, that's all that really does. <laughs> There's really nothing else for it. Life Collar, HP, HP plus five. That's it. Okay, let's move up. Swift Collar, Agility plus three. Very basic stuff so far, right? Wisdom Collar, Intelligence plus three. Power collar, strength plus three. So you can see our strength going up there, boom. And strength, as you can see, it's showing the attack going up there too, to 178 versus what it was at 174. Uh, and so strength determines the attack and the attack determines the actual damage you see in the battle. So that's really what that does there. All right, black emblem. And like I said before, with the uh, humans, as far as what that is concerned, the emblems deal with defense and the amulets deal with offense. So we're looking at a black orb defense here, move up to the white emblem. We're looking at a white orb defense, green emblem, green defense, blue, blue defense, as you can see, uh, so on and so forth. Well, actually this is different. Um, there's, what was I just saying? Emblems, oh, they had, wait. Oh, they must've changed this a little bit. Yeah, cause they had amulets for the humans now. All right, so these are emblems. Emblems are defense for monsters. You know, whatever whatever the name for it says. And then the bands are offensive dots. So preferably for the most part, I'm just saying for the most part, you probably want to band over a emblem because the bands will actually give you a little more offensive prowess to be able to do more damage to something else that Maybe you weren't able to damage it so much before because the Simurg here is mostly a white orb attacker. You give it a black orb and, uh, you know, then you could attack holy creatures, you know, with almost the same kind of strength. Because now you have a black orb. All right, so the white band is white, green is green, blue is blue, red is red, obviously, as we look at all this. And then we're moving up to the mermaid. We're moving up the purple thing. So really just... The top tier stuff is just the difference between do you want a orb for defense or do you want an orb for offense? And you have to really think about that. If you need uh, an extra orb for defense, let's say you're gonna put the Simurg up against Rudo, maybe you want an extra white orb defense just to be able to tank his, uh, his massive uh, clean military rule. You know, might be able to survive it a little bit better that way. But that's up to you and how you decide to play the game. All right, Mermaid Band. These ones are very special special things here because all it really does is it gives you 
water terrain basically makes you more like a water monster you kind of move more like a water creature now because of that and so that's why it says preferred terrain water which will give you bonus evasion in the water and uh, accuracy in the water too so these ones are just very special preferred terrain pieces here like the stealth band right here preferred terrain forest so you're going to be like a, a centaur in a way or a swordsman or whatever and uh, marsh band is going to make you prefer the swamp which also does apply to the ocean stuff but not as well um, but really you can move through the swamps of the oceans a lot further than before that also helps with that levitation band basically makes you a flyer you don't get to see yourself bobbing up and down like you did in grand edition or the original game but you do have a little wing boot status i believe and it just basically means you you're always flying you know so you don't have any uh uh, terrain advantages. You're just a flyer now. So that's all these things do right here. They just, you know, change your terrain movements. There's a grounding band, which basically makes your terrains planes. So if you put this on a snake, it'll just make it a planes preference uh, monster here. I don't really use the grounding band too much, except for to try to make a full set to make an all-star set of purple. That's really all I use this for. I don't know who's used this for anything else. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you use the grounding band much, very much, because I know I don't. Lapis Exilis, exactly as before, if you're used to the original Grand Edition game or original game, this will give you a Miracle Revival. Now the difference here though from the original game to this one is that you come back with full hit points, but your MP will be drained of whatever it was drained of before. So if you're bringing back Magic Caster and you've already used all your Meteor Dooms or Divine Rays or whatever, well, you bring it back with hit points, but they, they don't get any MP back. So that's the drawback with Lapis Exilis. The only good thing is it'll bring back the monster from death so that you don't actually fully die. And that's about it. That's that's really about it. It's just, it's just to save your bacon for one, one time for one monster in one case scenario. That's it. Okay. All right. Let's move on here. So typically I do equip the Lapis Exilis even though it doesn't bring back MP and all that. But it's not as good as it, as it used to. So if you think you're bringing back a, a, a Lilith and you're going to drop Meter Doom down again after you wasted all your MP, sorry. Sorry bud, it's not going to happen. Test this and it just doesn't work that way. But it's good to have a lot of them because in case, you know, you don't need a... A revival stone they just come back right away in battle right away all right solar fragment what is this what could that possibly be experience gain plus 30 percent whoa isn't that a beautiful piece of gear 30 percent more experience for that monster in all battles cool man right all right what's up next here what's up doc all right anti-petrifying band obviously adds Petrification immunity. Anti charming band, you can't be charmed. Anti paralyzing band, you can't be paralyzed. Anti fainting band, you can't be fainted. These are all really good pieces of gear and they work for when you need them to work. And uh, I typically prefer other pieces of gear over this just because not all the time do you have these very specific things happening. Not all the time do they try to silence you. But it could, you know, it could be helpful. You know, so so see where you want to stick these pieces of gear in, and, and uh, all that. Anti poison band, obviously. You know, anti poison, and uh, we we have a bunch of these lightweight band. What does this do? One extra mobility. This is a very rare piece of gear. It took a while to actually find this one. I can't remember where I found this one, but it gives you one extra mobility, so you can move one extra space. It's quite good, but that's all it does. It just shows you right there. One one mobile. Just like that. It's it's interesting. This one purple gear does one tiny little thing. Alright. Bell of Serenity. Obviously, magic costs minus twenty. So if you want to get an upgrade or if you want to get an extra monster on your team, this will help you out with that. Uh, essentially from uh, Grand Edition, this is known as the calming bell. Okay. Although the, the calming bell, I think, is only minus 10. This one's minus 20, so this one's even better. 
Swift Band, agility of 4%, or, or sorry, plus four. So more agile, more, um, more evasive. Wisdom Band, MP plus 10, intelligence plus seven. Heroes Band, HP plus 10, strength plus five. Pretty good stuff. All right, now we're moving into very interesting pieces of gear. It's mostly revolved around orbs. So we're getting two black orbs defense, two black orbs offense, the onyx seal, that's all it is, but it helps you uh, attack with black orbs and defend with black orbs better. Sacred seal, same stuff, really. Just changing the orbs here. All right, sacred seal, onyx seal, it's white, black defense. Lightning Seal, Green Orb Defense, Green Orb Offense, Thundra Seal, Tundra Seal, you know, Snow and all that, Blue Orb Defense, Blue Orb Offense, Lava Seal, Red Orbs all the way. And now we're moving up to the Gold Gear. All right. Protection Ban. Inflicts Inorganic Body. Now, what does this do? Essentially, the Burgundine stones have this built into them. This is also the same thing. Uh, Umamaro from Morelva has this natural ability. It essentially means that you cannot be paralyzed, you cannot be uh, charmed, you cannot be stunned, you, you cannot be stoned. All kinds of natural immunity things that are just amazing. So protection ban is really, really good on a lot of things. On a lot of monsters so definitely consider getting a lot of protection bands but there are other gears here as well so let's check these out spirit band what does this do 50 percent extra experience gained per hit per attack you want to level up fast this is what you need spirit band right there Deadly Band. Now, this one's interesting. Look at this. Hit points, minus 30. Oh, that's that's terrible. Defense, minus 15. That can actually be very detrimental to you. But critical rate, plus 20%, and critical damage, plus 20%. So 20% extra chance to do a crit, and then 20% extra damage for the crit. So if you're looking to do something where you're doing a lot of damage with uh, like probably a centaur. If you want to keep the centaur in the back and go for extra sniping damage, this could work for that. It could work for any monster, but you are losing defense and hit points. So, you know, just be wary of that. But this is, uh, it is called the deadly band for a reason. It could be deadly for your enemies or deadly for yourself if you don't play this right. I'm deadly serious. <laughs> okay, adamantine band. One of my favorites actually, one of my favorite pieces of gear Defense of 10, magic resist of 30%, so it gives you defense and magic resistance. One of the best defensive pieces of gear you can get for a monster in the game. And it is the adamantine band, right there. Okay, mercy band. What does that do? Minus 30 magic cost. You put this thing on an elemental and give it the right hat, the elemental will literally cost zero. I'm not kidding you. I'm not joking. Uh, a hat and a mercy band, bam. Elemental literally costs nothing to put it on your team. So this could be something really good if you want to like a really big upgrade. Uh, Phoenixes and Simurgs are about 25 point bumps for upgrades. So this could be good for that too. Just to, you know, be able to fit it on your team a little bit better so you know there is that bonus there okay what else is here rapid band okay this was agility and mobility of one so you're more agile and you have an extra movement space that you can do quite good all right sage band 20 mp and intelligence of tw of 12. this one's really really good like the name says, Sage, this would be good for a caster, an angel, a demon, or an, even an elemental. Could be good for an elemental just due to the extra MP, right? Or even one of these little hairy fairies here, one of these little gremlins. Maybe get an extra react or an extra bolt or protect spell out of it, right? All right, so those are the Sage bands, and we're up to the Peerless band. This one's really good. This one, if you, this one is when you really want to be more aggressive. 
30 HP and 7 extra strength. For a ring to have that kind of extra strength is awesome. It's just absolutely awesome. So definitely consider that if you want to be way more aggressive and you just want to like have your dragon just bite down that much harder. Or your snake or whatever. It could work. Alright, now we're looking to the Onyx Gem. Now we're kind of looking at what we looked at before with those orb bumps. So if you want to do extra black orb defense or offense and defense and magic resist to 15, let's say you're fighting Rudo. This could be good for fighting Rudo because you'll do th three extra orbs of black orb defense on him and hurt him that much more. All right. Lunar gem. White orbs. So if you want to defend against Rudo, this is a great thing, and this is what I've done too, and I can recommend this. Put this on a Lizard Lord, because a Lizard Lord does get a white dot. Uh, put this on a Lizard Lord, and you can take this to the final fight. Uh, it does give you extra shield block rate percentage, which only works for the Lizard Lords anyways. And uh, Rudo will come out to you, try to clean military rule you, maybe do, if, if you even block it, he might do like 100 or 200 points of damage. Instead of that phenomenally 600 800 points of damage you can completely negate rudo with a lunar gem whether it's the end tier fight or the the pre-fights before you can almost completely negate rudo by putting out a lunar gem on a lizard lord and having the lizard lord tank the damage i'm just saying it's one of the best defenses you have against him try other things as well let me know if you have uh, better success in other things as well i'd like to know that all right all right, we've got the J gem, obviously. Green over tax, green orb defense, critical rate of plus 10%. That's good for a Sammy. Uh, uh, you know, a swordsman, I mean, a sword, a sword master. All right, sapphire gem, evasion of 5%. Blue orbs defense, blue orbs uh, offense as well. And uh, crimson gem, obviously, crimson, red. All those red orbs and 5% accuracy. Could be good for a monster that misses a lot. Just saying. And, uh, yeah. There we go. That's that's all there is to it. I know that video took a while, but look at all the different kinds of rings there are. There's a lot of different rings in this game. Four monsters. And uh, I think it's quite good that there's so much here. It's actually quite cool. So as a little bit of a bonus real fast... Um, I'm going to show you a the best get up that you can get as far as an all-star bonuses. We're going to actually crank up this crank up all the stats there on the right. Really really well. But before we do that, definitely smash a like or subscribe if you haven't already and help my channel grow, please. That would be very helpful. All right, so let's put on the uh, Inferno Gauntlet here. I know you're going to see the stats go up a little bit here, here and here, but at the very end you're going to see them all just go wham. All right, check it out. Look to the right. And three, two, one. Boom! Look at that. Look at that. Now, the Onyx Claws are giving me one extra mobility there, so it's really just due to the, mo the Onyx Claws as why you saw the mobility go up like that. Um, but, yeah, that's you, you, you see how the stats just jump with this All-Star bonus. All-Star bonus is absolutely awesome. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave you with that. Thanks so much for coming by here. And I will see you in the next guide video or LP. Whichever one comes first. Take care, everybody.